Greetings from Brebeuf Jesuit. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, many of us of a certain age who are probably uh, watching this remember where they were at the time of the Kennedy shootings, the Martin Luther King shootings, uh, the moon landing that fateful day in September, September 11th. I think this will be one of those times that we will all remember where we were during the pandemic of 2020. Unfortunately, we are undergoing this, but I am thankful that I am part of the Brebeuf Jesuit community during this very challenging and difficult time. To begin with, I must thank uh, our principal, uh, Mr. Greg Van Slambroek and his wonderful team who have been able to basically keep the academic side of things running and for the teachers and for the staff members so the keep the internet going uh, for our academic and for our college counselors, uh, for our ministers and all the different people that are continuing to reach out and make sure that we are functioning as well as we possibly can. Thank you. Sunday evening, as I was reflecting on this week, preparing for the week, it dawned on me. This is the week that we would be preparing for spring break. Normally the hallways would be full of excitement and noise, uh, screaming and screeching, uh, people anticipating a much needed break. Today, the hallways are quiet. We would also this week be walking down the hallways congratulating the actors and their crew from Joseph. I happened to be present for part of the final rehearsal before I knew we would be closing the school. I think it was the first rehearsal that they actually were using mics. I can tell you that performance could have been with a live audience. It was that good. We are hoping that when this period of time is over, we can come back and they will be able to put on the wonderful show. We would also just still be basking in the success of the boys basketball team and the girls dance team that state competition had to be suspended. I'm not sure if the Toulouse trip would have been gone by now, but certainly the group that we're going to Toulouse and to El Salvador and to Oxford this week would be anticipating and planning and just looking forward to a wonderful spring break experience. Some of you were anticipating vacation places in the warmth and some in the cold skiing with friends, family members. Obviously, that will not happen. Some of you were anticipating going to college visits, perhaps to determine and decide what is that college that would be uh, pleased to have you next year. And some of you maybe in the junior and sophomore classes we're just starting that process and we're planning to do some college visits next week. For myself, and I'm sure some of you, I was just anticipating a nice, quiet week at home. As I said, unfortunately, these plans are not happening. As I said, the hallways are quiet. And when I look outside my window, instead of seeing baseball players and lacrosse players and softball players and people doing the track and field events. I can't walk down to the gym and see the volleyball players or go outside and see the tennis players because we are in recess during this time. However, I do see geese out on the fields. A far cry from the student activity. And I also, I've heard this from many of the faculty and staff, we ache for our seniors. We know how disappointing this time is for you. I was especially reminded of that uh, when I saw a wonderful interview with Julian Neely and his brother on WTR. And Julian mentioned some of the rituals of senior year, senior prom, he also mentioned our senior assassins game. 
We also have Senior College Day and Baccalaureate and Graduation. Please seniors know that we will do what we can when the time comes to recognize and to honor you and to have some fun. You are not forgotten. And I also want to say to the others, we hope to be back for part of this year. We do not know what will happen. But those who are juniors and sophomores and freshmen, and those of you in the class of 2024, we will have one, two, three, four years to come and celebrate together. I believe we will not take those years for granted. I also think next year in the fall, we will have the most spectacular spirit week because we will appreciate being here like no other year. But that is not the week we have. We have what we have been given. And so I invite all of us to return to my message from the beginning of the year that I exhorted us to as we began the year in August. Be brave, be bold, live the mission. When I was thinking of being brave, I think of a child who's going to get a shot for the first time. And the mom has to tell him, yes, it's probably gonna hurt, but it's gonna make you healthy and it's gonna keep you safe. This is a time like a shot. It's, it's hurting deeply. But there are things we need to do to be safe, and there are things we need to do to be healthy. Be bold. When we write a note or a paper, we often bold a word or a phrase or a sentence, a paragraph, because we want that to stand out. I invite all of us to be bold during this time. How do I want to stand out and be bold in living our mission? Many of you know what it has been like the last week and a half to do the studies. Again, I commend the faculty and the staff and our students for how you have fabulously entered into the, the rigors of e-learning. Um, I just cannot say more about that and yet you entered into that aspect of the academic side of the mission. But as we know, our mission of a Jesuit school is much more than that. So I invite you to reflect in your own lives. How is it that you're called to be a man and woman for others during this time? How are you called to really be a person of the Majas, to go qualitative deeper into this experience? and to keep in mind that we are about cura personalis, care of the whole person. And this time I say, please care for yourself and care for others. Follow the dictates that the medical experts are telling us. Also what our government officials are calling us to. That is for your good, is for the good of so many others. But how are you caring? not just for yourselves, but also for your family during this time. Little brothers and sisters, are you spending special time with them? Time that you will probably never would have imagined that you would have. Are you contacting your grandparents or your aunts and your uncles, your cousins, people that might be isolated in their own ways, that just reaching out with a phone call or social media will be a wonderful way of showing special care. Uh, the school has provided some opportunities for some fun through social media, and I know that uh, there are groups of people that are planning to execute some other opportunities. Please take advantage of those. We do not have to be totally isolated. And I also invite all of us to be mindful of the examine, the prayer that we go to at the end of each day. Perhaps now it's a time to use that instrument in a, in a special, deeper way. To be asking yourselves, how am I invited to meet God during this time? This very challenging, difficult time. How is God wanting to enter into my heart these days? And how do I respond in gratitude, in trust, in hope? 
and generosity. It's an instrument that we have used here at Provoff for many years. I invite you to use it, especially these days in your daily life. Remember, we are a community, whether we're together or not. There are ways in which we can reach out to each other to show our care and our concern and our love. Please reach out to others. And just so you know, especially the students, that the faculty and the staff and the administrators are here for you. Please take advantage if we can be of assistance. And to all the Brebeuf community, be mindful we will be sending out communications in the days and the months ahead. Know that we're here for you also. If there are ways that we can be of assistance, please reach out to us. Let us keep one another in prayer. I pray in gratitude that I am part of the Brebeuf community during these days. Be brave, be bold, live the mission. AMDG for the greater glory of God. God's peace and God's blessings. Thank you.